Hi, and welcome to another review of research for the Schroth method and other scoliosis-specific exercise techniques. There have been a lot of research articles lately coming out in support of Schroth method exercises, as well as other PSSE or physiotherapeutic scoliosis-specific exercises. And on these, on these uh, videos, I want to go through what those studies tell us and what we can learn from them and how it guides our, our treatment methods. So if you're someone who has scoliosis, this is definitely an interesting article to review as it really helps to support what we're doing conservatively to treat scoliosis. I'm hoping in the near future as I go to SOSORT, the International uh, Rehabilitation and Conservative Scoliosis Treatment uh, um, Conference, that we'll see more research and but it just keeps coming out more and more in support of scoliosis specific exercise so this uh, article is titled physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise schroth can reduce the risk for progression during early growth in curves below 25 degrees a perspective control study so this looked at schroth method exercises and, and the population that they looked at treating is actually the majority of the patients that we actually see here at Align Therapy. So they had 163 patients and their inclusion criteria was that they had, they had to have a Cobb angle between 15 and 25. They had to have, be a RISR 0 to 2, so they had to have some growth left and they had to have an ATR or their rotation in the in the thoracic or lumbar spine had to be over five degrees. So these were these are patients who had a high risk of progression. They were they were younger, average age was about twelve, they had growth left, and they had a Cobb angle that was over fifteen degrees that if it continued to progress they would need they would need bracing. And it was it was definitely interesting to read through and see what their methods were because their methods were that they would see them in the clinic, but then the patient would do their scoliosis exercises at home five days a week. And that's very consistent with what we do here. And it's very consistent with what I'm seeing in the literature that five days a week, um, as well as coming into the clinic during that time is, is, the most effective well maybe not the most effective but it's what we can do in the u.s with our healthcare system and it seems to provide good results so the results for this this study uh, in the schroth group 103 patients or 63 percent of their patients remained stable that's compared to in their control group which didn't receive schroth that 15 patients remain stable. That's only 25%. So 63% remain stable in the Schroth group and 25% remain stable in the control group. So that shows us that we can stabilize the curve. It's not progressing uh, if we're using the Schroth method. Um, it also showed that 39 or 23.9% improved in the control group, they didn't have any improve. So about 24%, so a quarter of those patients actually had an improvement in their scoliosis, which is, which is awesome. And 21 or 12% worsened. That's compared to 74% worsening in the control group. So, I mean, that's, that's huge. So would you rather have 13% worsen a 13% chance that you're going to get worse or would you rather have a 74% chance you're going to get worse that's to me that that's really that's really big and if we can stop progression in the curve and remain stable fantastic if we can have a reduction in the curve that's that's even better so still we're going to see some patients still progress with Schroth. There's no way to 100% stop progression of the curve, but this this study is showing pretty pretty good um, pretty good results. Their conclusion: Schroth reduced the risk of progression in adolescent idiopathic scoliosis patients during early growth. 
So this is the time period where we usually see a lot of progression in, in kids. This is the crucial time where we're trying to stop the curve from, from progressing to where it needs surgery. And their inclusion criteria with, with these patients, you know, a 25 to, well, a, tw a 15 to 25 degree curve isn't a huge curve, but it's a curve that we see all the time. It's a curve that has the risk of progression, the potential to progress. A risk of zero to two, meaning that there's a lot of growth left. You know, that's, that's a curve that it, that's at high risk of progression. So, and, and an ATR of five degrees. So when they bend forward and you're looking at their back, that they have five degrees of rotation. Um, you know, th this is a curve that's a structural curve. We're seeing the rotation. We're seeing that it's going to progress. Why are we not treating these curves more in, in the medical system that we have? There is something that is being shown more and more to be effective and to be helpful in treating these curves and stopping their progression to need, even needing bracing. If we can stabilize these curves and not need to brace them, that's fantastic. Yeah, bracing is, it is, anyone who's been braced can tell you bracing sucks. And if we can stop it progressing to needing bracing, that all the better. So a big takeaway from this, there, there are things that you can do to reduce the risk of progression. There are things that you can do that can have a reduction in the curve. As much as we don't want to say that, that, that Schroth reduces curves, we're seeing that in the literature. We're seeing that in what what research is coming out so uh, what what a cool thing to be able to do that and biggest takeaway for me is on these moderate the, these milder curves 15 to 25 degrees we should be treating pretty much every one of these if they have a risk of progression if they're done growing and you're 15 to 25 degrees that's not what this study is about the study is about those kids who are growing and progressing. What I would really like to see is a study like this that looks at, at adults, that looks at adult progression and risk of progression and, and see if we can, we can show the same thing. So this article was great and I've seen a few others very similar to it come out recently, so I'll review those as well. And if you like what you hear, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. It helps to support us, but uh, hopefully you take something away from this. If you're a therapist treating scoliosis, that just general physical therapy isn't what we're, what we should be doing with these patients. If you're a Schroth therapist, keep doing what you're doing. Fantastic. If you're a patient who's looking for scoliosis treatment, use this, this research and this knowledge to help you get the best treatment possible. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.